Welcome to Airability Live. I'm here with Shooting and Country TV, who are covering the event, and we're here at Cleveland Taggart and Sports Club. Airability is a Facebook group and YouTube channel of about 600 members who actively try and encourage inclusion in the sport of air gunning. We decided to break out of social media into the real world and the air gun community left forward to help. We've had everything from this wonderful venue donated for the weekend, organisational assistance and some great gifts and prizes for the participants. Come with me and we'll show you what's going on at Airability Live this weekend. There are two events this weekend at Airability Live. There's a Pro Benchrest event, which has been organised by Benchrest UK, and the ranking points from this event will even go towards World Championship qualification. There will also be a Rookie Benchrest competition where competitors can bring any sub 12 foot pound air rifle in any type of rest, hopefully giving people with an interest of bench rest a chance to try it without the specialist costly equipment and with coaching assistance from pro shooters on hand hopefully this will be a great day for the rookies. The highest rookie score will even win a set of wind flags worth over £200. Well, it just, just brings inclusivity to everyone. I mean, you get a lot of shooting sports which are really good, but they don't cater for the disabled groups as much. But this, what we're trying to promote with the airability stuff is just amazing. It's just, you've got a load of rookies there this weekend, which you wouldn't normally have at an event, which if it wasn't for the airability group, they probably wouldn't even know about you could do this. Bumping into people that you can actually put a face to the, the face. Name to the face. Name, that's the word I'm looking for. It's all there somewhere, it's just coming out. When I first started, it was really supportive. I was asking advice, and, and yeah, it was really good. All I can say to anybody that is listening and watching this is you know, come on board. It's, it's you know, we don't bite. Meeting the people, I mean, the shooting's good and all, but I enjoy just as much still out here chatting with everyone. and having a laugh and whatnot as much as the shooting. So. The group is just so like-minded people, but it, it appeals to me because someone like myself that is now becoming limited with my abilities and like my previous discipline, can still carry on enjoying shooting. And the, the group is just so friendly, you know, so welcoming. You know, it was such being a rookie in the beginning and then coming over to this, I was just like, I was an experienced shooter straight away. Nobody's judged me on what I shot before. And then, you know, it's just brilliant. So we're in the 25 metre range here at um, Gleaven Tag and Sports Club. It's a beautiful facility. And as you can see here, you can set up the targets to any range between 25 and 10 metres. It allows the club to cater for many disciplines, including live fire and air guns. Benchest UK was formed um, a few years ago and I have to be one of the governing bodies. Um, what we've actually done is we've tried to get as many people shooting in the UK as possible by showing them how good bench rest shooting is. Basically anybody could do bench rest, there's no age limits, there's no gender limits, it's just good clean fun. Everybody thinks bench rest is easy, but when do you see perfect scores? There's never been one in all the years it's been going. So, for me, it's completely like starting from scratch. And like COVID come along and I started shooting in my garden and, you know, it was my meditation shooting in my garden. Then I heard about the competitions and last November I threw myself in at the deep end, come and get involved. I mean, it's fantastic, but it's a lot more difficult as my cards have shown today. <laughs> So, I bet you, you guys are wondering what, what these competitors are actually shooting at. This is a World Rules Benchrest 
target. And the most important thing to realise is the bull on one of these targets is only two millimetres across. So what happens in an event is that you have 20 minutes to shoot all 25 of these blue targets that go towards your score. The maximum score is 250 because each bull is worth 10 points. Then if you completely remove the bull with your pellet and it's no longer visible, that is called an X. So if you tie with another with similar points to somebody else, the X count will distinguish who is the winner. Also, we have these red targets here, and within the allotted 20 minutes that you can shoot your detail, you can shoot as many of these practice targets as you want. They won't count towards your total score, but they'll let you know where you're gonna shooting and how to handle the wind conditions. Right, so you've been watching everybody shooting on the range in both the pro and the rookie competition. And I bet you're wondering what's actually on somebody's bench. So I thought I'd take you through what's on everybody's bench and how it works. Well, obviously, we've got a rifle here. This is a custom-made bench rest rifle. It's single shot and um, it only shoots about 60 shots on a charge because we don't need any more in a competition. It has a flat base which is about three inches wide and it fits on this rest here. The back here is a triangle shape and it fits into a bag. So when you're doing uh, World Rules and UK ben Bench Rest UK competitions, you shoot with a front rest and a back bag. Now the front rest, this is where the magic happens, has a, has a joystick here. And the joystick allows you to move the front of the gun so you can pan from each target on the card and move to the next target. These are really accurate and when you leave go, they stay in the same place that you left it. And these are really essential to good bench rest shooting. And they're quite expensive as you could imagine, but they are an investment and to be honest, you only need one for life. So as well as the back bag, we have this, which is a tape measure, and you think, what is a tape measure doing on the, on, the, on the bench rest? Well, as you saw, everybody has wind flags that they use to determine where the wind's coming from and how they need to aim off the target so they can hit the bulls. Well, this tape measure has marks on it where we put the wind flags. So the wind flags are put in exactly the same place every time we set up our equipment so we know where to aim off when we're using them. Um, as you can see here, because I've got the gun out, it's not on the range and the gun is not um, live firing. I've got a safety flag in here. These are essential for anybody shooting bench rest because when the guns are not in use, they always have to have a safety flag in them to show that they can't actually be used. I have a workbox here and in my workbox, I have the kind of essential things that I need to use while I'm um, actually at the bench doing my 20 minute detail. I have an electronic timer which counts down from 20 minutes so I, so I know exactly what time is remaining and how many shots I need to do in the allotted time left. I have my pellets here and all my pellets are pre-prepared, weighed, lubricated and sized and placed in foam trays so they can't get damaged. You'll do find that bench rest shooters are a bit geeky and they love their attention to detail. Now, this might not get you many points, this sort of level of investment in your pellets, but it's all marginal gains and you probably score one or two points a card more because you've spent some time making sure your pellets are consistent. I also have some pellet lubricant here, which I use on the pellets to make sure that they um, run consistently down the barrel. And I personally even go at the point of checking all my pellets with a magnifying glass before I go on the range to make sure none of them are damaged. So 
So guys, I think we've had an absolutely wonderful weekend and I would just firstly like to say thank you to Clem for organising this wonderful facility for us and Graham, everything that you've done with everybody got a t-shirt, everybody got a hat and everybody had a great weekend shooting with you know your organisation. I would just like to say thank you very much for that and hopefully this will help our ability go from strength to strength. Thanks thank a lot you. Matt. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.